Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Yo, 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 what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. First and foremost, I wanna wish you guys a very, very Merry Christmas Eve. I hope you guys are having a very blessed day, spending it with the people you love, spending it with the people who matter most, because that is at the end of the day what's most important. So I really do hope you guys enjoy your day. Today, I wanted to give you guys another jobless review. I believe this is the last week of the season. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but I do believe so. This is for week eight or week 19 I'm not really sure either it's been a pretty hectic season and uh, we've been ending it with a bang I believe that's now three back to back to back slapper weeks this one being no exception I am super excited for it myself I hope you guys are as well because definitely this week is going to be a very very interesting one but we'll get into that in a bit before I get into the job list though I do have to mention a few things if this is the first time stepping up on my channel or checking out any of my videos please stop sleeping support the kid hit that subscribe button for me one time Time, I definitely do not think you guys will be disappointed in the content. If you're a fan of content like this, of live cups, of pickup videos, I have a super, super, super fire pickup video coming later today. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. But even sneak reviews, literally everything that you can think of when it comes to streetwear, I have it for you guys. So please take a second, hit that subscribe button, join up Ugly Gang. I definitely do not think you guys will be disappointed in the content. Also, if you guys were not aware, I do have my own resale platform at Item Secured. It's also a website, itemsecured.com. I would definitely suggest going and checking that that out because I have a ton of really really nice items up for sale in fact as a thank you and as a return for all of the support that you guys been giving me I want to extend a discount code on the site you can use this code until tomorrow midnight so a little bit over 24 hours to go get some more steals I would definitely suggest going and checking that out because I would hate for you guys to miss out on some pretty nice steals but also while you guys are at it go follow me on my personal Instagram my personal Instagram is pretty fucking elite as I say all the time I definitely do not think you guys be disappointed in that either but enough of those plugs let's get into today's video let's get into this week's drop list this week's drop list is actually not even that large it's a pretty condensed one which in my opinion is pretty good it being the last week of the season or maybe one of the last couple weeks of the season left I like it to be you know pretty small just give us the last little bit of lookbook items left and maybe an unseen or unexpected item and let's call it there and I believe that's exactly what's happening this week um this week obviously you guys should already know the main hitter is the TNF collaboration the crumpled paper one um, we'll talk about that in a bit but um you guys should already know my opinions on it I dropped a video on that I believe it was what Saturday or Sunday sometime earlier this week I'm not really sure if you guys want to go check that out please by all means go do so it was a pretty interesting topic so I do not think you guys be disappointed in that but in today's video I really just want to focus on resale how I think it's going to perform on the aftermarket I do think that is going to be a pretty profitable item but enough of that let's get into today's video I'm gonna swap over to my setup and let's see what's cracking off today all right Let's get right into this. I'm going to start with the least like items as always and go from there. Let's pull up Supreme Community. Let me throw you guys on the screen. Like I said, this week really isn't a really large drop list. It's pretty small. I believe there's only like, a, I believe like nine items dropping, which in my opinion, once again, is not bad. There's only really one item that we should be looking forward to, but we'll get into that in a bit. Let's kick things off with this color block zip up sweater. Let's actually not because that shit is big trash. That is going to be a massive brick. That is definitely going to be at the season sale at the end of the season um let's just move on because that is just nasty um we have the ear flap six panel another just nasty nasty piece i feel like supreme had its time during the season when it comes to hats now it's just like completely just fell overboard that is trash i would definitely not recommend going for that then we had the split logo ear flap beanie this piece is actually not bad in my opinion i don't hate it i will definitely never wear something like this and i do not think it's going to resell well but there are some people who coincidentally enough that i feel can pull this off um me personally i cannot so i will never you know try to but this is not a terrible piece i do like the colors that they chose as well as like nick color this unc blue the steerless color and I guess this is the Milwaukee Bucks colors. I'm not really sure. Not a terrible piece if you ask me, but it's definitely nothing crazy. Then we have the first piece of the Supreme North Face collaboration, that being the down scarf, the 700 fill down scarf. At that, this is going to keep you insanely warm. This retails for, I believe, $118. Yeah, $118. And uh, do I think it's worth it? I do not think it's going to do well, to be honest. It's a scarf and it's a pretty weird scarf to want to rock. So I would advise only going for this for personal. If you guys like this piece, I don't think it's a terrible piece, but uh, me personally, I'm going to pass on that. Moving on, we have the second piece of the North Face collaboration, that being the paper print nupsy pants. 
These, in my opinion, are trash. I do not like these pants at all. I do like the graphic a lot, I would say that. But um, when it comes to these pants, I just don't think that they're practical or that wearable. So I don't really like them. If you're going to be, you know, snowboarding or skiing or doing anything in like snow or, you know, any of those type of activities, I think that these are pretty dope. But uh, for the average Joe like me, I definitely do not think I would ever wear these. So I'm definitely going to pass. I believe these retail for 220 yeah, 218 So it's a pretty penny for some, uh, you know, very specific pair of pants. I would say pass on these if you're looking to flip it. Actually, I would definitely say pass on these if you're looking to flip. But um, for personal, I guess they're not a bad call. Moving on, we have the Tribal Camel Balaclava. I'm surprised that Supreme waited so long to drop their Balaclava this season. Um, this black one is fire. I think that it'll do well. The other two, I know a lot of people aren't feeling this Tribal Camel, but a lot of people seem to really like Balaclavas. So I think that this is a pretty safe cop. I would say if you're looking to flip it, by all means, go for this black one, because this black one will probably do the best. Um, the other two are not bad, but that black one is definitely the way to go. In fact, I might even go for a black one myself. But that is that, that's going to be tough for $48. $48, not bad. I think that you can probably flip it for about like $75, $80 until down the road it goes up in value. But lastly, we have the main hitter of the week, that being the Supreme, the North Face Paper Nupsy Jacket. This piece is fire, it's going to slap, it's going to resell for a lot of money. I believe the retail isn't that bad. Yeah, at 368, it's a lot cheaper than what the Baltoro was. And obviously, rightfully so, the Baltoros are always more expensive. This at 368, I think that you can probably get like 700, 750 dollars for it on the aftermarket. Uh, maybe even more so because this is the only color that they're dropping it in which i would say i would commend supreme for not you know making other colors in this uh, graphic i think that that definitely would have killed it but this piece i do think that is going to slap it's going to be insanely limited so it's going to be insanely hard to grab as well if you can i definitely think that you're not in the wrong you're definitely going to get a lot of money for it even if you want to keep it for personal i think that that's also a great call it's going to keep you warm and it's obviously a fire fire jacket um, I don't really know what to say to be honest. I hope that I can grab one. I hope that we can all grab one. Obviously, that's not how it's going to go because, you know, supply is always less than the demand. But um, I do hope that if you want one, you can cop one. I'm definitely going to be trying. Good luck to all of us because this is definitely going to be a really, really hard item to grab. But that is this week's drop list. That is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are going for anything this week, please just let me know in the comment section below. If you guys are planning on sleeping in, also let me know. I always do like to know. This Thursday is actually also my birthday. So hopefully the Supreme Gods are, uh, you know, in my favor for the kid's birthday. Um, I really want that nupsy. But let's see how that goes. When once again, stay tuned to the video I'm posting later today. It's a huge unboxing. I really think you guys would enjoy that. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Merry Christmas Eve one more time. I hope you guys have a blessed day. But I'll catch you guys later. Until next time, peace.